Hey everyone, welcome back to another sneaker review with me where I finally get to review not only one, but all three of the original colorways of the notoriously self-proclaimed most hated shoe on earth. But before we get started, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. A big percentage of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet. So that can mean that there's a lot of you guys that come back, watch my stuff, but haven't subscribed yet. Or there's a lot of new people out there. Hi, how you doing? So if you haven't yet, or if you're new to the channel, I hope you can consider subscribing. It really does help a lot. Please and thank you. All right, without further ado, let's jump into my review and my honest opinions on the Warren Lotus Reapers. gained immense attention in the sneaker community when he first announced the release of his Flying Rat Onion Sandals, which was his take on the infamous Nike Dunk NYC Staple Pigeons. It's also good to note that this was an official collaboration with Jeff Staple, the original designer of the Nike Dunk Pigeons. This received a massive reaction from the sneaker community, both positive and negative, with the notoriety reaching its peak when Nike issued a lawsuit against Warren Lotus for trademark infringement because of its uncanny resemblance to their signature Nike Dunk. Even with Lotus and Nike reaching a settlement, the Flying Rat Onion Sandals seizing production, and the immense amount of criticism on the matter, this didn't stop him from going against it all to make sure his name stands in both the sneaker and streetwear community. Warren Lotus decided to make this statement by designing his very own sneaker named the Reapers. The design completely embodied his signature style and brand, while also embracing the reputation of being the most hated shoe on earth. He first released the silhouette in three different colorways that would never be released ever again, which are the original chainsaw colorway, the electric blue colorway, and the clean slate colorway, which is a great symbolism to Lotus's new start after everything that he's been through. Jumping right into the sneakers, all three colorways feature the same overall design and layout, with the key differences being the type of materials used on various parts of the upper. For the electric blues, the whole upper is in the soft synthetic leather, the clean slates are predominantly made in premium suede, and the chainsaws being a combination of the two materials that gives a very Texan Chainsaw Massacre vibe. Another key difference that you can see among the three is the material used for Warren Lotus's signature Reaper seen on both sides of the shoe. The electric blue colorway is seen in synthetic leather. The clean slate are in that slate gray suede. And once again, the one that stands out the most is the Chainsaw's Reaper seen in reflective silver with red blood splatters behind it to really embody the name. Some more notable hits seen on the upper is that the panel that divides the midsection to the toe box is actually in the shape of a scythe, which I think is a really nice touch. You also have the Reaper logo tag at the top of the fat shoe tongue. Behind that said tongue, you have another tag that says live free or die. A little straightforward and morbid for my taste, but I mean, it's the theme of the shoe. The Warren Lotus Reaper skull on the insole of the shoe and the initials of the designer embroidered into the back of the heel. Lastly, and probably my favorite part of the sneaker is that all three sneakers sit on top of a rubber midsole and outsole with the outsole having this sick Reaper artwork carved into it with the text saying ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So finally, let's jump into my thoughts and on this opinions, not only on this sneaker, but with the whole Born Lotus controversy in general. Yes, from an unbiased standpoint, all of his sneaker designs prior to the Reapers are very similar to the Nike Dunks, especially with the colorways being exactly the same as some of Nike's most notorious sneaker colorways, such as the Stussies and the Heinekens. But playing devil's advocate for the Flying Rat Onion Sandals, it was an official collaboration with Staple Pigeon, who was the original designer of the Pigeon Dunks, so I felt like that was fair play. Yes, I know it's not just about the colorway, it's about the overall similarities between the dunk and the trademark infringement, so the argument is valid. It doesn't change the fact though that I really wanted those flying rat onion sandals, no matter how ridiculous the name is, because it's the closest thing that I can ever get to actually having pigeon dunks without having to pay 50 to 100 thousand dollars. To be honest, I feel like I'm walking on a tightrope here because I really am empathetic to both sides of the spectrum, and we could go on forever, but I feel like at the end of the day, we could just chalk it up to, to each their own. If you think it's a ripoff, it's a copycat, it's bootleg, I respect your opinion and at the same time, you don't have to support him. You don't have to spend your money on any of his products and no one's forcing you to. But if you're someone like me who rocks brands and designers because you really like what they're doing, then go for it. As I always say, rock what you like, rock what you love, you do you. So let's move on from that topic and focus on what really matters right now, which is his brand new sneaker. And personally, I really do like these a lot. This proves that Warren Lotus is more than what people are saying about him 
online. He really is someone with his own design, his own artwork, his own style, his own personality, his own story. And he really did show it through the making of the sneaker. He really did believe in this and he knew that other people would too. He did a bunch of crazy stuff leading up to the release of the sneaker, including a ton of giveaways, including this exclusive shirt that I got that retails for about 100 to 150 dollars. He even paid someone five thousand dollars, including the accommodations, their food, to walk from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Through that whole trip, you really could see the quality and the effort that Warren Lotus put into this sneaker. He even says it himself here on the sneaker box. This shoe represents a lot to me. It caused a lot of pain, but I'm happy that it exists. Every pair that gets produced is a victory. You may not like what he did, but I personally believe you have to respect his effort. Coming back from all of that, starting from scratch, having a clean slate, both figuratively and literally, for the sneaker. The design is unique. The sneaker is pretty comfy. There's a lot of padding around the ankle collar. It's super soft and snug, kind of like a hug around your ankles. And once again, it tells its own story, which you know I'm a sucker for. Overall, love or hate him, I'm really happy that I have the Warren Lotus Reapers in my collection. I really do believe that these sneakers and Warren Lotus as a designer deserve a positive light and some respect in both the sneaker and streetwear culture, even if these are the self-proclaimed most hated shoe on earth. And that is it for my review of all three original colorways of the Warren Lotus Reapers. What do you guys think of the sneaker, of the whole Warren Lotus situation? I'd love to converse with you guys in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Albu Peralta. I'm a bit more personal there. I post stories almost every day and I post when I have a new sneaker review coming out here on my YouTube channel. So that's one way to get notified other than of course subscribing to the channel. Guys, it really does help a lot. Leave a like on this video if you like it. That's what the like button's for. And check out my other videos on this channel. I got a lot more sneaker reviews, travel vlogs, Pokemon card unboxing videos, personal vlogs, my Better You Health series, anything and everything between will be on my channel and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys when i see you bye guys